Die vijfde jaarlijkse African Capital City Sustainability Forum vindt vandaag in Moret plaas en Pretoria's nieuwe burgemeester Stevens Mogalapa kaar bij ons om ons een beetje meer hierover te vertellen. So good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Such an honor. Goeiemorgen and good morning to KKNET listeners and viewers. Let's just start with your background. Well, um, I'm a Pretoria born and bred. Mm -hmm. um, I was born in Winterfeld. Um, went to a local school there called Mutsumuholo Primary School. Then went to do my high school at Mabupan High School and went further to do my undergraduate degree at the University of Pretoria. Um, then I became the ward councillor for mm -hmm. Ward 58, the Sunnyside Arcadia area. Um, been a ward councillor for five years and then I was a PR councillor. Then I went to parliament for the last 10 years, since 2009 until February this year. Mm. Did you ever think that you will become the mayor of Tswane? Well, um, it's a very interesting question. Um, when I became the ward councillor in 2000, um, I was already being called the mayor of Tswane because mm -hmm. I was one of the first um, black, uh, you know, councillor, mm -hmm. uh, and a ward councillor, by the way, uh, in Tswane. So I was always, my peers always re referred me as the mayor of Tswane. Uh, but suffice to say that I came back to the city of my birth so that I can plow back uh, what the city has offered me. Uh, mm -hmm. for over my 20 years experience and 20 years in political um, office. I live in, in Sunnyside now, so all you're saying is hope for me to end up in Parliament. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can also do it. I must just start somewhere. <laughs> of course. I mean, <laughs> um, I was responsible for the Trivena development, which is the DTI campus, um, as well as the SEPS VIP uh, protection unit and the revamping of the Sunny Park. Mm. Um, it was when I was the ward councillor between the period of 2000 and 2006. Um, and also the what we call city improvement district mm. uh, that assisted with the cleaning and the security and the informal trade uh, marketing and as well as you know maintenance so it, it, your future is bright when you come from sunny side <laughs> there is a footprint <laughs> fantastic mayor of Tswane, yeah. what do you like or love most about our city well i love this city because of it's a capital city you know i'm an international relations uh, guru um, having studied international relations and practiced Mm -hmm. um, in the international space. Uh, when I was in parliament, I was the shadow minister for international relations. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the president of Africa Liberal Network, uh, and I'm in the executive committee of Liberal International. And I represented the South African parliament um, in the SADC uh, parliamentary forum. So I, um, I love Pretoria for its capital cities. Mm -hmm. um, I love the people here, um, I love the language um, and the ambience, you know, of, of, of Pretoria and the capacity thereof, uh, the tertiary institutions that are here, the, you know, um, technical institutions, the research institutions, um, just the, the, the essence of being a Pretorian mm -hmm. um, is, is what uh, inspires me. So it is a beautiful city, rich culture. Uh, we've got we one of the cities who's got two museums, you know, the Fort Trekker and the Freedom Park, mm -hmm. uh, side by side, which is quite something very significant uh, as well. So, and the fact that we've got the Union buildings here, you know, you you realize the value of a capital city once you understand what it means and. It dawned on me when we were arranging for the elections mm -hmm. uh, that being the capital city, we are the nerve center of coordinating all the election results. They were coming to the, to the showgrounds. All the election results are around the whole nine province, the whole country. So it shows you the, the, you know, 
the responsibility that you have and the weight that you have of being a capital city. Mm -hmm. And again, it is also befitting with now with the African capital cities that are here. Uh, we've got about 37 uh, mayors who have come from 37 African countries, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big, big number. Um, and I think you would realize the value of Washington once you get to Washington. Yes. And I think it's the same essence with Pretoria. You realize the value of it once you come in mm. and realize that it is a capital city of South Africa. Mm. Thank you again for joining us this morning. Thank you. So we've spoken about you know, what you like most about our mm. city. But uh, today and tomorrow marks the fifth annual African Capital mm. City Sustainability Forum. Mm. So what is the ACCSF exactly and what is its aim or main purpose? Yes, Elsa. I mean, um, the ACCF was um, established five years ago um, here in our city. Mm -hmm. It's a forum of, um, you know, uh, executive mayors from around the continent. Um, just purely to respond to the issue of environmental protection and climate change, uh, about building the green economy. It's about um, you know, ensuring that we build resilience uh, towards uh, climate change. So it is an exchange of ideas amongst the mayors of the African continent. We also contribute to the COPs. In, um, so um, it's basically just about environmental sustainability and as well as uh, climate change uh, response. Mm -hmm. And this year's theme, it is about ensuring that we collective responsibility for a sustainable African capital cities. Mm. Um, you would ask the question, why capital cities? It's important because of capital cities is where you can have the link between the national and, and the local government, which mm -hmm. is important if we are to deal with the issues and the challenges of uh, climate change. Um, so it is befitting that it's within the capital cities. We are experiencing the highest growth of urbanization, uh, which has got an impact on our social and environmental and economic infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So we have to respond adequately in terms of renewable energy, in terms of food security, um, so in terms of how we use our public open space. Um, so it, it is a hybrid mix of what we need to do in terms of those basic services of water, electricity and food security. Yes. And what are some of the typical sustainability trends that we see in South Africa? Well, I mean, Twani, we are leading in as far as sustainability is concerned. Uh, we, our Twani house, for example, it is um, energy sufficient. Uh, it is one of the modern green buildings. Um, if you walk into Twani, um, the offices where they are not being used, the lights are off. They only go on when there are people inside the, um, the building. So it is quite very much uh, energy sufficient and responding towards the call for, for going green. Uh, we have, in, as part of our fleet, we've got electric cars that we are using. Uh, we've got currently about 40 um, REN buses, the BRT buses, uh, that we're going to pilot to use um, you know, as electric buses as well. Um, mm -hmm. Currently, they, they are using the less carbon uh, emission. So we, we are doing well in as far as building the resilience um, is concerned. Mm. Uh, since we are talking about electricity, mm. a report had a very interesting article yesterday mm. uh, regarding mistakes mm. um, about approved power tariffs before mm. being implemented on the 1st of July. Sure. So um, this means that Swanee's revenue from power sales will increase by 12%. Mm. And I think there's, you know, some rumors about increases with regard to what up to 80 percent mm, i think mm, mm. so the problem is that the average increases did not indi indicate that some consumers mm. can get a huge shock so mm. let's just get some clarity sure. with regard to this well, well look i mean um that one will be corrected the only thing here to correct is that instead of saying it will be 200 it should be 120 
So it's going to be corrected. Uh, we are going to have a special mayoral committee on Wednesday to approve uh, the correct uh, tariffs. Uh, it was just an error from the utility services in mm. terms of the, 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 those numbers. Uh, but it doesn't mean that we have increased our tariffs. They will remain at and kept at 120. And remember, when it comes to electricity, we always get the guidance from NERSA because of they are the ones who are giving us the tariffs. Mm. So uh, we are complying in terms of that. So it will be um, corrected because of we need to correct it before the end of June. So, so when will the new tariffs be provided? It, on the 1st of July, they will be provided. We are going to pro to have a make on Wednesday and the council will going to sit on Thursday to approve it. And then from the 1st of July, they will be applicable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to charge people more, just go for Civil Lakes. A lot of budget there. Yeah, charge it, charge it. I offer. You will only think what we are seeing Civil Lakes money. We start off with an ochtend's gesprek met the burgemeester van Swane, Stevens Mogalapa. I would like to ask your opinion about President Ramaphosa's State of the Nation address last week. The DA leader, Musi Maimane, referred to a certain dream language, so to speak. <laughs> well, I think uh, when you look at where we are as South Africa at the moment, uh, we've got serious big challenges. Um, huge unemployment. Uh, Nine million South Africans are unemployed and most predominantly young people. Um, the economy is not growing enough to create uh, jobs. Uh, we've got issues with crime, we've got issues with corruption. I think the state capture sums it up very well. Um, it's a horror show there. So it, it is very much befitting to say that um, at this point in time, uh, Ramaphobia is in, in a dreamland uh, mm -hmm. because the challenges are huge. Um, mm -hmm. And I think um, it will take a very much long-term uh, program and a long-term solution to solve these problems. Mm -hmm. And it's not a silver bullet or a quick fix. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if we go back to Tswane, what would you say are some of the service delivery issues or challenges sure. that needs immediate attention? Yeah. I think the most basic um, service delivery issues is getting the basics right, doing the basic right in terms of uh, what we call urban management. Uh, cutting the grass, um, ensuring the street lights are working, mm -hmm. um, fixing the potholes, and ensuring that we mark the roads. So um, those key level basic service delivery issues, you know, of, of ensuring that we get the city running mm -hmm. um, and, and, and ensure that we do urban management, which is why I have engaged on what we call accelerated service delivery intervention program, where I go to all the regions in the city of Tswani to try and accelerate the backlog of service delivery. We've got a serious, huge uh, backlog of infrastructure. Um, over the 25 years since our democracy, we haven't uh, maintained the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So you've got your already established suburbs of Pretoria you know, Centurion, Pretoria area, you know, um, that has got infrastructure, but it's aging. Um, and it is, hasn't been maintained. Mm -hmm. That is why I've allocated a lot of money, uh, 1.3 billion, for the maintenance, so that we, co we continue with the maintenance. Consequently to that, on the flip side of the coin, is that you've got those who still don't have tar roads, mm -hmm. roads and storm water, those who don't even still have uh, clean drinking water, those who are still without electricity. Mm -hmm. um, that is the huge backlog of about 5 billion of uh, roads and storm water, um, electricity and, and, and water um, in the north, region one and region two, which is your social government, Mabupan Winterfeld area and the Hamanskral area. So you can see the disparities mm. in terms of um, the challenges. Mm -hmm. um, in some areas, it's purely maintenance that hasn't been maintained. And in the other area is no basic services at all. So it's a balancing act that one does on a daily basis and to say, how do you allocate resources? Where is the priorities? Where do you focus? 
So out of the capital budget of four billion, um, I have um, allocated about over a billion to to those areas in region one and two, just to deal with the backlog that we have. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's also difficult. Um, and you will probably know that, is to get citizens in the different parts of a city to understand the suffering of the other one. Mm. Because I can, and I know I'm mm. paying a higher rate for yes. where I'm living and I yes. want my street yeah. lights to work, but still yes. have compassion to realize I'm uh, complaining about a street light mm. or just one pothole mm. um, and there's families with no water, uh -huh. water. or housing. Yeah. And, and it's, uh, you know, mm. for you as well, is it difficult for people in a yeah. city to understand each other's problems? Yeah. Well, look, I mean, uh, let me tell you one thing I also love about Pretoria in, in Tswani is the goodwill of the people. Mm. You know, um, even when they are frustrated, they do understand. Mm. And um, I do understand when a person who lives in Linwood, where we are, says, yeah, I need my regular electricity to be on. You know, mm -hmm. I'm paying my rate and taxes. You know, it's fair and good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it is our duty to make sure that they get those services. Um, consequently, on the other side of the coin, it is, again, Another thing to understand when the residents in Pumulong informal settlement or in Itireleng informal settlement or in Moi Plus says we've never seen this dawn of democracy. Mm. Mm. We don't know what does it mean. We still mm. don't have electricity. We've got a lot of illegal connections that are affecting the grid as we speak at the moment because of, you know, the, the regular power outages that we have. It's um, not mainly because of cable theft, which is a reality, but also because of illegal connections. Mm. We've got about 215 formal settlements in Pretoria mm. um, alone. So you can sure. see that the challenge it's quite insurmountable. So I, I do understand when the residents, you know, of our suburbs feel that the services needs to be um, up to standard uh, because you use the common principle of ethical moral values, you know, of the haves uh, subsidizing the have-nots. And that is how the budget has been crafted mm -hmm. so that, you know, those who can afford to pay can at least uh, cross-subsidize those who cannot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What suggestions do you have for South Africans to improve our cities? Well, I think what the first thing that we need to do, that is why um, I've embarked on this program called I Am Twani. Mm -hmm. I Am Twani is not to showcase myself as the face of Twani, it's to instill that confidence in the residents of the city, to take up ownership, mm -hmm. to take uh, responsibility. You know, on scan sam, stuck, start mark, as on some work. So it's a question of a collective. I mean, we've been sharing, uh, for example, about, you know, the initiative that you guys are doing with the school in Plastic View. You know, mm. those are things you can't imagine how much pressure you release from the government fiscals. If you say, look, we've got prefabs that we can provide for a school, mm -hmm. you know, um, that can free up the resources of government to go and build a school elsewhere. So it's, it's, it's a question of just taking ownership and working together and ensuring that, you know, uh, we make the cities work uh, together. The private sector needs to come on board. Your people like yourself in media who are also engaged in, in, in non-profit organizations and NGOs, uh, we need to make sure that we, we work together. The cake of the government can be so small, you know, can only reach thus far. But mm -hmm. with working together with other stakeholders, mm -hmm. we are able to reach uh, far much better. So it's about building sustainable and strong partnership that we can be able to work together and face our challenges. Mm. And we love positivity. Mm. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. And good luck with the African Capital City Sustainability Forum. Thank you very much. And we're just going to give you a certificate as oh. a first-time television guest on our show. Oh, thank you, you very much. I appreciate stuff. it. Thank, you, so thank much. you very much. I'm going to frame it. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh. You're like, like, no. Okay. We, we, we need to, we need to make blade. it. We need to make plan. We need to plan. That's our star. Bye, thank you. Yeah, bye, thank you. I've already heard that. Great. That's it. Welkom by die Groot Ontbuitse YouTube kanaal. As jy dit nog nie gedoen het nie, maak seker jy teken aan door op die rooi subscribe knopje te klik. Maar vir meer video's soos die, kan jy ook gaan na die playlist 
optie. Maak in tussen ook seker, jy kom dagelijks terug na die platform toe, want ons maak seker, ons hou jou neskierig en op hoogte van sake met dagelijkse bijvoegings.